Hello, Buzzercars, my name is Hotsosti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft here uh, with our uh, tunnel bore uh, project where today we want to figure out how to get all these stones that last time we managed to uh, detach from the uh, the bore machine that we have a complete setup there or you can see it better here so these two slime blocks those are these two and what we need to do is basically get all uh, eight pieces of stone into a single strip so we can feed it into a blast chamber and the way I think we will do this is we will bring the blocks uh, up to this level, which means we can pull these just up. And here we need a double piston extender. Um, and that's probably the tricky part to figure out. And then we will align these four in, uh, in one strip and these four and then we can uh, combine these two sets of four stone into one set of eight stone and push them out wherever they then get blasted off. So we will need uh, something like this here now this is the easy part um, but uh, on this side we actually need a double piston extender and there I'm not quite sure how to properly power uh, a vertical one we had a horizontal one over here that that worked um, but we need to figure out how to do this one so let me put my uh, thinking cap on and uh, then I will be back once I have a working solution. Vertical piston extenders are a bit weird. Here we have this sign that pulls the block down. And as you can see, it's working. However, if I flip the whole thing around, the block is left one short and I assume that's uh, uh, an issue with uh, orientation and the update order. However, here we actually have something that works. We can push it down but we also can retract it based on uh, signal uh, of, a, of a certain length. So I have put this here in place, wired it up and we get the desired effect. We have all four blocks in a, in a square here. But then looking at this, I noticed this will not do because what we need is to have an, a, a kind of mechanism that pushes out, you know, for example, these two blocks in either that direction or that direction, does not really matter. And then we have to push these two blocks over so they can also be pushed. But 
that mechanism is right above our flying machine so we cannot have anything sink permanent there um, so I think uh, the way to go is probably triple piston extender or flying machine so that we get the blocks that we want to unhook far enough away from the flying machine so that uh, we uh, are safe and can then uh, move the blocks around now i found a solution or someone else found a solution for me uh, link as always down in the description and this one actually fits nicely because it's a triple piston extender with a double piston extender in the back which is actually exactly what we need uh, because if we have the stone blocks uh, here and we press this button we get the stones nicely set up here which is what we want uh, now we only have to figure out a way how to get them out of here um, which can also be a bit tricky but i was thinking if we have such a nice way of triple double piston extender to get it off wouldn't it be way easier to have this vertical uh, upside down setup uh, here on the side instead of the of the flying machine then we would end up with uh, two horizontal uh, or four by four uh, in a in a vertical way and uh, that would make things way easier however as this took me long enough to figure out i think i will have a bit more research going on and then hopefully next time have a solution because otherwise you would have to wait potentially another two weeks before this episode uh, came out and it's uh, already way too long so uh, that's it for today and i will see you hopefully not in two weeks, but uh, next week. Until then, goodbye.